Well, I want you to look at what we got here. Oh, let me clarify today. Today is uh, May the 10th, or it could be the 11th. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't plan on saying the date right off the bat. But this is the bridge, the river bridge, that they've taken out and uh, going to be moving it up to Johnny's place up in Ozark near the Ozark Mill. And I knew from the time it was it was condemned that there wasn't nothing wrong with this bridge, but evidently they want to put a new one in. Last time I was here, that house wasn't that far along. It looks like somebody's actually maybe living in it now. But as you can see, this is concrete's got to come out eventually. I mean, I can't imagine them leaving it there, but. That middle piece is way newer than these end pieces. All right. There. People cutting the grass over here. And this house is for sale. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Right there. Mike can show you the number. I, I don't know. But yeah, it's, it's this house. It's a beautiful house. And uh. I like a house with a wind sock on it. That house has a wind sock. <laughs> I like that. I can't see a lot from this side over here, but as you can see, it's built up off the ground. It's not on a slab, but it's a beautiful house. All right. Well, I'm actually kind of I'm actually kind of cold right now. Let me see if I zoomed in too much on myself. Oh, I go and went there. <laughs> there I am. All right. Um, I actually, I'm kind of cold. I think I'm going to whip back by the house and get my jacket, my bike jacket on, so I don't just totally freeze to death. So it's barely 60 degrees, and uh, I think by four or five o'clock this evening it might get up to 63 and if anybody knows me they know that I get cold in that kind of weather so I don't know how far I'm gonna ride today so you might have to check back to see how far I make it up oh, I'm missing the button oh <laughs> all right let me get it again I don't want to have to edit none of this crap I've been noticing this red-tailed hawk. Oh, I'm on the wrong pole. I've been noticing this red-tailed hawk has been hanging around here. It's gorgeous. But these birds are kind of messing with him. You may see, yeah, see the bird messing with him. They're giving him hell. Try to take a picture while I'm doing this. Dang. This part of the video ain't gonna be worth shit. Crap. Well, I can tell you this much. I'm glad I bought these tires. They ride really good and they're gonna last a really long time and I know that for a fact because this is like the third year I've, I've had these tires last year I did 5,000 miles the year before that I did 5,500 I don't know what I'm gonna do this year I know when I left out this morning I didn't have this uh, this jacket on <laughs> but uh I went to the bridge where uh, River Riverside Bridge is, and I was cold. I was, uh, I ain't gonna be able to do this unless I go home and get another layer on me. So I went and got my jacket that is a Springfield Brewery Company jacket. And I tell you what, I'll be able to make it now. I will be able to make it. <laughs> yeah. It, it, 
it's really the sun's shining good but it's really kind of cold it's like 60 degrees and i know it's going to warm up they said to like 62 but no higher so and the wind seems to be blowing out of the north so maybe that'll help me out on the way going back but just <laughs> ain't got much to say this youtube thing has got me throw a, a wrench in my analytics and uh, I'm gonna make a video about it I've been watching other people talking about their channels and um, everybody that has got any conservative thought or any truth of, of the illusion of the government being for us it's all being hit now your run-of-the-mill type people you know that are just got YouTube channels talking about anything but politics or anything but about truth they're, they're, even their numbers have went down it's across everything all of it but now their favorite people that they really like of course it ain't went down I ain't going to use the word liberal but there's a lot of them out there that uh, have these channels that they're, they're not being penalized for saying horrible things and they're not being penalized for coming against anything that has to do with uh, awakening of consciousness even I mean this thing's turned more into a, a war of ideas than who can make the best best video I mean if it was about the best people that made the best videos well that little guy like me wouldn't have a snowball chance in hell getting an audience and that's what they've done they they've taken my audience away again so i like everybody that uh comments and hits that like button and smash that like button and do all that stuff you know those youtubers talk about because it's who am i making these videos for i thought about that earlier today and actually I'm making them for my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren. If this damn world will stay around without them blowing it up. But somewhere in the cloud, uh, they might can fish it out, you know, in 100 years, 200 years from now. And my great-great-grandchildren -grand can, uh, you know, look back on my life and uh, maybe there's some seeds that I can plant in their consciousness. Life ain't what we've been told. No. And happiness. <laughs> happiness is not what we've been told either, people. They, people think they got to be happy. And they got to have all this brand new cars and brand new houses and brand new wife. And get rid of this wife and get another wife. And live like they're a millionaire and they... <laughs> they have a million dollars in debt and the way they teach people in college and in school ain't got nothing to do with the reality of who we are and how we heal our body heal our mind and then we heal our life it don't mean that we have the best life better than anybody else it just means that no matter what kind of storm comes we can handle it we can deal with it it ain't gonna be something that's gonna shock us I hadn't watched the news and since forever and then watched it yesterday for just a little bit and uh, looks like the deep state is trying to take us into third world war really hard and really fast and there's some people on the internet that believe it can happen you know within the next few months I don't think so people I don't think so they, they bring this it's like a loop it's like a cycle it's they call it a news cycle and it happens all the time it's like professional wrestling you got the established stars and then you got the newcomers and then you got the established companies and then you got these companies that are starting out that seem to have a momentum behind them it's all smoking mirrors, people. It's all smoking mirrors. There's nothing in this reality 
that is worth our time to try to investigate why they're talking about the way they're talking. Now you can do your research on a certain subject and you can see that the news is not telling you the truth. You can ponder these deep thoughts and go deep inside the internet and you'll find things. You'll find the actual reality of truth that has been around forever. There's always been a core group of people that understood the matrix before the word matrix was even invented. They had other ways of talking about it, but uh, Rudolf Steiner was one, and oh, there's just Watchman Nee was one. There's just so many other ones that were out there a hundred years ago, two hundred years ago, five hundred years ago. And we're seeing the same thing happening in these loops. It's like we have loops in our life. And we, we, we can't break it until we actually understand that it's a loop and that we have the power to stop the thinking of the way the loop is made and created because we are creator beings. So, if you like my videos, keep, keep watching. If you don't, go ahead and unsubscribe because there's been a lot of people unsubscribing. And one day I had 28 people unsubscribe. I, I, that's the purge, you know, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. I was growing so fast there for a while because I was in Jamaica and I was coming from another IP and the shadow banning and the censorship on YouTube and Google and all these other Facebook and everything. It, my, all my numbers were doing really good. And that's good because I got a bunch of new subscribers. And I don't know if you can still see the work or not, but I got you. I mean, I, you know, the numbers are what they are. They're just numbers. But what it is is the people that I'm trying to reach and trying to talk to, I think they'll stick around to see what this ride turns out to be. All right, that's enough of me ranting on about how bad my YouTube numbers are, if it makes any sense. But I'll make a video and I'll actually show you guys uh, the truth about what I'm speaking.